for our own. Make no mistake, soldiers. The box and weapons go together like fire and gunpowder. One spark, and we'll have a blaze we cannot control. Ah! Trespass! Ah! Okay, there's the impound. We're gonna have to get through an army to get those tools.
lost him! Push it out of there! some cash. Appreciate it. Well, Fitzroy, you... You 
got a little cunning in you, if nothing else. Dropped a couple grizzly traps around the lines up here. Idea was to to bleed one of your couriers till he gave you up. Except, of course, you're using kids now. Now I got this tiny engine boy eyeballing me. Tried to take his leg off. Damn things just lying here between us. I sure wish he'd cry or something. Open this. Come on, give me something challenging. It's done.
cover! There you go. Argued something fierce at night, Lady Comstock and a prophet. Could never make out what it was about from my bunk, though. After the worst, I seen she ain't left for morning prayer. So I crept upstairs to check in on her. And like a fool, I lingered. Scullery maid was what they called me when I walked into Comstock House. Murderer was what they shouted when I ran out. There's a lockpick over there. Yeah. 
feel better already. There's the job, and there's life. They pay me to hate the goddamn Vox, and I take their money, but what's the harm of having a drink with Fitzroy's people? Face to face at the graveyard shift while they're, they're just folk. Well, I guess I fell into the goddamn bottle because I stumbled back without the evidence locker key. If Schmidt finds out, well, there'll be hell to pay. Elizabeth. Seems easy enough. All yours. On to this. Now we just have to get them back to the Vox, and then we get our airship. Think you can crack this one open? That won't take but a minute. Ready. Who are we really helping by getting guns for the Vox Populi? It's gonna help us. Daisy can make a change, can't she? Make things better for the people here. Sure. We sure as hell aren't going to be able to carry all this back to the shop. God, we didn't think this all the way through. What is that? It looks like a tear. To a, another version of this room that doesn't have any tools in it. Well, if the tools aren't in there, then... Then they must be back, back at, at the, the shop. shop. Booker, if we go into this tear up, I don't think there's any turning back. Are you sure you want to go now?
Come on, get back something. to the gunsmith and finish our deal. I aim to be on that airship and well shut of this place for long. Booker, if the Vox get their weapons, there's going to be a revolution just like Les Miserables. These people are gonna have better lives. Yeah. see a force at the beginning of a fire. For the first flame, you see them possums and squirrels running through the trees. They know what's coming. But the fat bears with their bellies full of honey, well, you can't hardly wake them up from their comfortable hibernation. We're going to Emporium, and then we gonna see what it takes to rouse them from their slumber. these people. Things can change, Booker, and we can be a part of it. I don't want to be a part of it. Once we get our airship, we'll be well shut of this place. Now is the time! Ah! 
the hero of the Vox! What the hell are they talking about? Look at that poster. In this world, you're a hero. I remember I led the Vox. S Slate and I burned down the Hall of Heroes. Booker. The nose. Hard to think of. Two memories in the same Booker, place. Booker, come back to me. We're going to find Daisy Fitzroy. And we're getting out of here on the first lady. Let's go. For this one, give a thumbs up. <laughs> Hilarious! Ah, oh, that's a great shot. <laughs> one more, one more. For this one, everyone look really sad. Like you're having the worst old time. <laughs> okay, okay. One more for posterity. <laughs> This'll be a keepsake. Samuel, when the spells of anger come, I want you to play this recording and remember that I am the proudest woman in Colombia to have been your wife. They said your soul was choked by the fumes in that metal box, but this I do not believe. And we shall meet again on that eternal shore. Both of us whole and smiling. I love you. I love you. I love you. The founder's belief is that we ain't no better than oxen. Think on that. Think on a man looking at you your children and seeing a beast meant to be ruled over. Not someone capable of rational thought. Not someone with their own dreams and aspirations. Not someone trying to make sure their kids have it better than they did. The founders see you as something to be controlled. More money. To be told when to eat, Take it. when to sleep, when to stand and sit down. To say yes, sir, no, sir. May I go to the bathroom, sir? You ain't a person to them. You're a tool. Strange. I see a lockpick over there. Now them founders, they want you focused on the wrong thing. They want to keep you distracted. Keep you from thinking about the real problem. 
the inequality, the bigotry, hmm. the inhumanity. They want you thinking. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. As plans go, I'd seen worse, except this girl was already gone. Monument Island's a damn ghost town. It seems like they evacuated her when they heard I was here. An old friend told me Comstock spirited her off to that fortress of his. As a one-man job, this just my went from dead got a fine watch. drawing dead. How come I ain't got no fine watch? What I got to do for my... to get me that fine... Watch. Ancient Mariner! I'm so worried about getting that watch. You can't even tell time. 